Players seeing the Royal Johor Golf Course for the first time and figuring it was straightforward were in for a rude surprise. It wasn't just the heat and humidity, alternating with the odd tropical downpour that would make the going tough, even for the best players. First time here, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, tricky golf course, very tricky. You know, when you, when, you, when you first see the golf course, it looks very short and looks like it's going to be low scoring, but the greens are very tough. Testing conditions for a top golfer not on top of his game, having failed to win anything in 2008. Hussein headed into the final day tied for sixth spot. Meanwhile, the winner of last year's inaugural Iskandar Johor Open, Artemio Murakami, had slipped off the pace after a promising start. Still, last year's win cemented the young half-Filipino, half-Japanese golfer's place on the Asian Tour for two years and brought other positives. Winning on the Asian Tour, I, I got also opportunity to play in the US Open qualifying early, like in June this year, I mean May, and then I qualified for it and then played in the US Open this year. The sponsor of the Iskandar Open is the authority driving the development of a vast new special economic zone at the southern tip of Malaysia, close to Singapore. The zone has already drawn about $11 billion of investment since its launch two years ago, much of that money coming from the Middle East. And it aims to become a major industrial, logistics, residential, recreational, medical services and educational hub. The sponsors hope that backing a golf tournament broadcast around the world will boost awareness of what the development has to offer, including some 16 golf courses. Through this, we will get strengthen the branding of Iskandar Malaysia, not only for investment, but also to attract talent. It's a place where people can work, it's a place where people can live, and also for the people to play. Co-sponsor UEM Land is the lead developer of the Special Economic Zone. We are very excited uh, and we will keep on, even though, as we all know, the, the world economy is going through a very difficult phase. But we intend to continue our aggressive approach and we hope that by doing that, uh, the investing public will gain the confidence. Riti Fusen got a tour of the development and saw firsthand the backing the Iskanda project and tournament are getting from the Malaysian government and royalty. You know, amazing what's going on here. It's, uh, it's a growing part of the world and uh, uh, it's nice to see and golf also, you know. It's great to see that uh, uh, the Royal Highness and everybody is putting so much uh, effort in it, promoting this golf tournament and uh, it's nice to see. Encouraging too for the Asian tour. Especially uh, with, with the Johor state government, you know, endorsing it. It's, it's great to have tournaments like this other than, you know, corporates doing it. So, you know, we'd like to have more, more tournaments where, you know, the, the government authorities get involved. Event organizer IMG believes the Iskandar Open is fast becoming a major fixture on the Asian golf calendar. We've been able to attract a lot more international players to the tournament and it's great content and that content brings spectators and TV viewership and, and with that things grow. So uh, I think it bodes very well for the future. Uh, that said, you know, uh, Iskand and Malaysia have got bold plans for the southern tip of Johor and that we have bold plans for this tournament. So, so I think uh, the synergies are definitely there. Heading into the final day's play, the star attraction wasn't giving up hope despite sitting four behind the leader, Sweden's Niklas Fast. Yeah, anything can happen, you know. I can shoot five, six, seven under tomorrow and the leader can shoot seven under too, so it doesn't mean anything. But uh, I can only go out there tomorrow and try my best and uh, try and get a good number on early on the leaderboard and uh, see what happens. What happened was that Fast faltered and Husen surged into the lead with a final round six under to the delight of spectators and sponsors. A late thunderstorm with just a couple of holes remaining drove the chasing pack from the course for 90 minutes. When play resumed, it was their spirits that were dampened as they failed to close the gap on Husen. Malaysian Ian Steele finished fourth to boost local pride, while Husen's winner's speech gave fans and sponsors much to cheer. I'm very much looking forward to coming back next year. Uh, it's 